the Hero Indian Women's League from the Trans Stadia. It's a Group A clash between the defending champions Gokulam Kerala and the Kanyashri Cup champions East Bengal. And here is the lineup. Uh, today is a different challenge for the Red and Gold Brigade and Devajani in the starting lineup. Uh, this is the Gokulam Kerala lineup and looks like a 4 2 3 1 and gain some confidence before facing technical sides like Odisha FC, Kickstart, and Sethu Madurai. Of victories and many success in the quintessential Indian football story as the Red and Gold Brigade decides to the double defending champions Gokulam Kerala. The fourth official for today's game is Kumari Nandita and match commissioner Mr. Dinesh Naya. And these are the two skippers, Ratna Haldar of East Bengal and Dangme Grace, the India International. We are all set for kickoff here. And so now it's time for the game faces and a new look women's league. So 16 contenders stands for the eight available spots for the quarter final. Was very kind in mentioning his long term plans has been the mainstay for the Malabarians at the back. And meanwhile, the flag stays down as Sabitra Bandari sees one on one, has gotten past the goalkeeper, and she makes it 1 0. Jambalu Tayang brought down on the floor. A brilliant fake from Sabitra Bhandari and it's Sabitra Bhandari on the score sheet. A promising start for Gokulam Kerala, the champions of the previous edition. They've scored 66 goals last year in 11 games. Uh, Shilki Devi using her physique to good effect and Sabitra Bhandari once again rounding the East Bengal goalkeeper and from an acute angle and Gokulam Kerala doubles their lead for the Nepalese international. And she is, of course, the all-time top goal scorer for Nepal as well. 45 strikes in 42 outings. And continuing her rich reign of form, she scored a brace against India as well in the FIFA friendly a couple of months ago in Chennai. And taking advantage of the sluggishness in the East Bengal's defence. Sabitra Bhandari, she is completely free in the middle. A chance comes in from Dangmai Grace and a toe poke there uh, from the number eight, Indumati. Uh, she scored four goals. And East Bengal defence in sixes and sevens, which led to this uh, particular opening. And eventually the Regon Dredden Gold Brigade had to pay the price in a big effect. Uh, Sabitra Bhandari this time turning provider uh, from the right hand side. A well-timed cross. Have been all part of various competitions and tournaments. Here is a chance for East Bengal. Can they pull one back? A heavy touch. But gutsy defending. It's still alive for East Bengal. But desperate defending. And capitalizing on to the second ball. Is the number seven. And just when Gokulam Kerala were looking good to keep a clean sheet and the red and gold brigade had other ideas they hardly needed a gift and yet they were provided one by the Gokulam Kerala FC defense and on the follow-up Rimpa Haldar a clearance falls straight into the feet of Indumati uh, could have been troublesome uh, from for uh, Tambalu Tayang but somehow managing to deal with it of Gokulam Keller. Sherry, the chance for East Bengal will come back to that for the number eight to make it 3 2 from this cross. It was a pinpoint ball. A couple of green shirts waiting inside the box. Doesn't deal with it. The East Bengal goalkeeper and completes a hat trick, Sabitra Bhandari. And we have the first hat trick of the season in the Hero Indian Women's League. And it is Sabitra Bhandari at this time showing early signs for the Malabarians. And he's been all certainly down in the dump. Using her upper body strength, shielding off quite comfortably. And here is a cross, the goalkeeper this time plucks it out of the air. And look at that. A good height on the cross, but making it slightly comfortable for Jambalu Tayang on this occasion. She's got a good pace on her. Sabitra squaring it off for Sandhya. And a great chance once again setting it up 
for her strike partner Sabitra Bhandari. And referee Ruba Devi blows the whistle. Uh, so at half time it's East Bengal FC1, uh, Gokulam Kerala FC4 to test his bench. And we are underway then with the second 45. It's the number 10 Moshumi finds a yard, sends a ball in. And just eluding. So, so unlucky uh, not to score. Tulshi Hemram. A delightful ball uh, from the left. He's been called uh, growing into the game. A chance here for Tulsi. Tulsi is still going. And he finds the back of the net. She makes it 2 4. A great through ball. Asking for offside. The flag stayed down. A well timed run. Uh, getting in between the two centre backs. Standing strong. Tulsi Hembram. Keeping his cool in front of goal. And managing to find the back of the net. A cool, calm placement from Tulsi Hembram. Unable to bring the ball under control. Uh, was the number eight, but she was uh, tripped from behind by Shilki Devi. Uh, referee was close to the incident. And uh, Ruba Devi. Just and if they keep applying pressure, a chance will eventually present itself. Sabitra Bhandari beautifully trapping the beating the offside trap and a screamer from the number nine a missed opportunity at the other end and adding insult to injury is Sabitra Bhandari scoring his fourth of this uh, game operating from deep in the closing embers of this game Spots the run of Dang May Grace who stops the ball right in front of her and goes for the cross. And the keeper commits an error via a mistake from the East Bengal goalkeeper Jambalu Tayang. A goalkeeping howler from the number 21. That's half a dozen for Gokulam Kerala. They're going to leapfrog a Misaka United. At the end of the 90 minutes, Sabitra Bhandari is squaring it for Vivian, a powerful shot. Just firing it beyond Jambalu Tayang. And East Bengal doesn't know where to look. The goal's just flowing in here. Sabitra Bhandari with her second assist. Yes, she squares it uh, towards the Ghanian. Here comes Gokulam Kerala, Sabitra Bhandari, Vivian, Indumati, Indumati goes for the shot. Vivian with the flick on, looking to play in Sabitra, in steps, Dang May Grace. He's got Sabitra Bhandari waiting inside the box and she makes no mistake. Announces his arrival in the hero Indian Women's League in style, Sabitra. Uh, tried to set up Kashmina for a shot. And that's the full-time whistle uh, from Ruba Devi. A comfortable and a convincing victory for Gokulam Kerala. As they edge, as they edge past East Bengal. So as it stands at full-time, it's East Bengal FC 2, Gokulam Kerala FC 8.